He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increases strength. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increaseth strength. Isaiah 40, 29 The grass withereth, the flower fadeth, but the word of our God shall stand forever. The grass withereth, the flower fadeth, but the word of our God shall stand forever. Isaiah 48 the chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Isaiah 53, 5 And it shall come to pass that before they call I will answer, and while they are yet speaking, I will hear. And it shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. And while they are yet speaking, I will hear. Isaiah 65, 24. As one whom his mother comforteth, so will I comfort you. As one whom his mother comforteth, so will I comfort you. Isaiah 66, 13. He will be very gracious unto thee at the voice of thy cry. When he shall hear it, he will answer thee. He will be very gracious unto thee at the voice of thy cry. When he shall hear it, he will answer thee. Isaiah 30, 19. Hast thou not known Hast thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary? There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might he increaseth strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary. The young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Hast thou not known, hast thou not heard, that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary? There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might he increases strength. Even the youths shall faint and be weary. The young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not fall. Faint. Isaiah 40, 28-31 I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, saith the Lord. I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, saith the Lord. Jeremiah 30, 17 Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Jeremiah 32:27. And the vessel that he made of clay was marred in the hand of the potter. So he made it again another vessel as seemed good to the potter to make it. And the vessel that he made of clay was marred in the hand of the potter. So he made it again another vessel, as seemed good to the potter to make it. Jeremiah 18.4 Though he slay me, yet will I trust in him. 
Though he slay me, yet will I trust in him. Job 13.15 Behold, happy is the man whom God correcteth. Therefore despise not thou the chastening of the Almighty. Behold, happy is the man whom God correcteth. Therefore despise not thou the chastening of the Almighty. Job 5.17 Unto you that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings. Unto you that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings. Malachi 4.2 The joy of the Lord is your strength. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Nehemiah 8.10 Hath he said, and shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken, and shall he not make it good? Hath he said, and shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken, and shall he not make it good? Numbers 23, 19 Who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases? Who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases. Psalm 103, 3 It is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I might learn thy statutes. It is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I might learn thy statutes. Psalm 119, 71 Have mercy upon me, O Lord, for I am weak. O Lord, heal me. Have mercy upon me, O Lord, for I am weak. O Lord, heal me. Psalm 6, 2 Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfieth thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfieth thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. Psalm 103, 2-5 Then they cry unto the Lord in their trouble, and he saveth them out of their distresses. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. Then they cry unto the Lord in their trouble and he saveth them out of their distresses. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. Psalm 107, 19 and 20 Before I was afflicted, I went astray. But now have I kept thy word. Before I was afflicted, I went astray. But now have I kept thy word. Psalm 119.67 He giveth his beloved sleep. He giveth his beloved sleep. Psalm 127.2 He healeth the broken in heart and bindeth up their wounds. He healeth the broken in heart and bindeth up their wounds. Psalm 147, 3 Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, 
on the Lord. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Psalm 27, 14 I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Psalm 34, 1 The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Psalm 34, 10 Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. Psalm 34, 19 I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and delivered me from all my fears. I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and delivered me from all my fears. Psalm 34, 4 For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. Psalm 84, 11. I waited patiently for the Lord And he inclined unto me and heard my cry. I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined unto me and heard my cry. Psalm 41 As for me, I will call upon God, and the Lord shall save me. As for me, I will call upon God, and the Lord shall save me. Psalm fifty-five, sixteen. For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Isaiah forty-one, thirteen. Sing, O heavens, and be joyful, O earth, and break forth into singing, O mountains. For the Lord hath comforted his people and will have mercy upon his afflicted. Sing, O heavens, and be joyful, O earth, and break forth into singing, O mountains. For the Lord hath comforted his people and will have mercy upon his afflicted. Isaiah forty nine thirteen. When my soul fainted within me, I remembered the Lord, and my prayer came in unto thee, into thine holy temple. When my soul fainted within me, I remembered the Lord, and my prayer came in unto thee, into thine holy temple. Jonah two seven. Then saith Jesus unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Then saith Jesus unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Matthew 4.10 And Jesus answering saith unto them, Have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, 
be thou removed and be cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass he shall have whatsoever he saith and Jesus answering saith unto them have faith in God for verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass he shall have whatsoever he saith and he said unto her daughter be of good comfort thy faith hath made thee whole go in peace and he said unto her daughter be of good comfort thy faith hath made thee whole go in peace Luke 8:48 but we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us but we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us 2 Corinthians 4 7 there is no fear in love but perfect love casteth out fear because fear hath torment he that feareth is not made perfect in love there is no fear in love but perfect love casteth out fear because fear hath torment he that feareth is not made perfect in love 1st John 4 18 here now is healing in his wings faith building words of wisdom from our precious father in the Lord to strengthen and encourage your own faith so that you can personally apply God's promises and principles to your own life and have them work for you for with God nothing shall be impossible and all things are possible to him that believeth Luke 1 37 and Mark 9 23 most churches today seem to put the stories of Jesus and his disciples way back in the past. They're looked on as fairy tales. There's no real reality to them. It's all way far away. God is far away. Heaven is far away. Jesus has long been dead. Everything's so far away. But the things of the Lord can still happen today. He's just as real as ever and can still do the same and even more so. God is still alive, well, and working just as powerfully as ever amongst those that trust in him. He says, I am the Lord, I change not, Malachi 3.6. And Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever Hebrews 13 8 he that believeth on me Jesus said the works that I do shall he do also and greater works than these shall he do because I go unto my father John 14 12 and these signs shall follow them that believe they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover Mark 16, 17, and 18. So the day of miracles is not past. God is still in the business of transforming the bodies that need it, as well as the hearts, the minds, and the spirits. To heal is a small thing for him, the God of creation. If he can create the body, he certainly can repair it. The one who made us can certainly fix us he says unto you that fear my name 
shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings. Malachi 4.2 Troubles, Trials, and Tribulations Why? Does the Lord protect us, his children, from all accidents and sickness and trouble? Or does he often let us have a lot of trouble? There is no sure guarantee that you are never going to get sick with anything as long as you are in human flesh. The Lord never said we wouldn't have illnesses and afflictions, but he did say that he would deliver us out of them all. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. Psalm 34, 19. Naturally, we usually wonder why these things happen, but God always has a reason, and I believe nothing happens by accident to one of his children. I have found in my own life, and that of many others, that he always has a purpose for them, although it is not always revealed immediately. The Lord sometimes uses afflictions, sicknesses, and so on to test us and to cause us to draw closer to him and cry out to him and really seek the Lord. Someone once said, God does some things to make you humble, other things to keep you humble, and yet others to make sure you're still humble. Otherwise, we would have a tendency to just walk alone. It causes us to rely more on the Lord. So sometimes things happen just to keep you close to the Lord, humble and more dependent on Him. Sometimes things happen to drive you closer to others. Sometimes they happen to make you pray. All kinds of reasons for even having troubles. Even Jesus learned obedience through the things which he suffered. Hebrews 5.8 We know Jesus was perfect and didn't bring these things on himself by sin. The Lord allows sufferings to strengthen our faith. So sometimes there are even occasions on which it isn't necessarily something you did wrong, like the blind man in the Bible who was blind from birth, whom Jesus said was blind not because of his own sins, nor even the sins of his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. Whereupon he promptly healed him to prove the point. See John chapter 9. Sometimes maybe you'll be sick so that God can do a miracle and heal you, and it will be a testimony even if you weren't bad and did nothing wrong to deserve it. Maybe God let you get sick so that he could heal you to show that he can heal and to demonstrate his power. But whatever the reason, always remember that whatever God does, he does it in love. And all things work together for good to them that love the Lord. Romans 8.28 God is not going to let anything happen to you, his child who loves him, except what is for your good. You may say, but a lot of things happened that didn't seem good to me. Well, I dare say you finally found out sooner or later that somehow or another it was good for you. Or you will yet. This is why King David said in his Psalms, It is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I might learn thy statutes. Before I was afflicted I went astray, but now have I kept thy word. Psalm 119, 71 and 67. Hallelujah. So even troubles and tribulations are good for us. Thank the Lord. God knows best. And even though it sometimes may take weeks, months, or years before you know why, the time will come and you'll know God was right and did the right thing. Healing is for you. 
Although many are the afflictions of the righteous, the Lord is going to deliver you out of them all. Psalm 34:19. No matter how many or what. A L L all. Not just some or a few or most or many, but all, all of them. We can expect God to deliver us according to his word. The provision is there for you. There are lots of scriptures on healing throughout the entire Bible, God's personal word to each of us. He has made promises in his word, promises which we can claim and expect him to fulfill. There are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these, his promises, ye might be partakers of the divine nature. 2 Peter 1.4 This is also where your faith will come from. Faith comes, it grows, by hearing the word of God. It's not a sudden boom. For faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Romans 10.17 That's the law of faith. But how often lack of faith is due to ignorance? If you feel like, Oh my God, I just don't have much faith for God to heal me. It's because you don't have the word. Faith is built on the word. Read it prayerfully and ask God to strengthen your faith. He'll always answer the hungry heart. His word will give you faith for it. God can not only do it, but he wants to do it. When the poor leper came to Jesus and said, Lord, if thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. The scripture says that Jesus put forth his hand and touched him, saying, I will be thou clean. And immediately his leprosy was cleansed. Matthew 8, 2 and 3. He's more willing to give than we are to receive. All he asks from us is that we honor him with faith by believing his word and his promises. For without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Hebrews 11:6. Trust in the Lord. He has never failed in one of all his good promises. 1 Kings 8:56. With his stripes. Isaiah 53, 5. There is salvation both for the body and for the spirit. Just as Jesus' blood was shed for the salvation of our spirits, his body was broken for the healing of our bodies. He died for your salvation, but he suffered for your healing. He himself took our infirmities and bare our sicknesses in his own body on the tree. Matthew 8:17 and 1 Peter 2:24. For he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Isaiah 53, 5. The original Hebrew word translated here as stripe literally means bruise, hurt, stripe, wound. What does it mean with his stripes we are healed? There is some form of atonement even for our diseases. He paid for it by his physical suffering. So we can claim it even as a part of his atonement. We can claim it as a part of what he paid for. It's yours already for the asking. The great physician now is near, the sympathizing Jesus. He speaks 
the drooping heart to cheer. Oh, hear the voice of Jesus. We who have personally received Jesus into our hearts already have his healing power manifest in our bodies through the Lord's healing. See Romans 8:11. But it will not be really complete until we receive our eternal, supernatural, indestructible bodies on which death and sickness no longer have any power or claim whatsoever. Healing is a sample like salvation. When we experience salvation, we get a little sample of what eternal salvation and heaven are going to be like. We have a little bit of heaven in our hearts already. We have tasted of the heavenly gift and the powers of the world to come, as his word says, Hebrews 6, 4, and 5. Likewise, when we get healed, we have a little sample of what God is going to do one of these days. He'll not only give you one new part or fix you up a little bit or repair you, but he is going to give you a whole new heavenly model. See 1 Corinthians 15, 42 through 58. But in the meantime, we're still bound by our corruptible, fleshly human bodies. And about all God's doing now through healing is patching us up to make us last a little longer. Like an old car, he can patch you up a little bit and keep repairing you. And that's really what this lesson is all about. How to receive his healing and repair service while here in these old mortal bodies that often break down and give us so much trouble.